Welcome to this video on absolute value and the number line. So today what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, a number line and kind of understand how it's composed and, and then we'll go from there and look at absolute value. So let's start with a number line. So let's say we have a line and any good number line has numbers on it. So we see that if we are moving to the right, then these are going to be positive numbers. Now, the opposite of those would be uh, negative numbers. So if we are going to the left, then we are looking at the negative numbers. And in the middle, in this case, this zero is neither positive nor negative. And it, in a sense, it's, it's mirroring uh, what's on the right and what's on the left. So we can say that the numbers that we have showing here, our scale, are integers, which are positive and negative whole numbers. So integers are positive and negative whole numbers. Now when we talk about the absolute value of something, if we're here at 2, the absolute value, which we represent with these uh, tall vertical lines, is really just saying, what is the distance to 0? Well, the distance to 0 from 2 is 2. So the absolute value of 2 is 2. Similarly, Let's look at the mirror image of it, the opposite of it, negative 2. What is the distance to 0? Well, it's also 2. So we see that the absolute value of 2 and the absolute value of negative 2 are both 2. So really, when we talk about distance, the distance can never be negative. We, ne we never talk about distance being negative. It's always in one direction or the other. And so when we talk about the absolute value, we're saying what is the distance from a point to zero. So let's take a look at um, another number line and let's take a look at if we had fractions on it. So let's put, we'll go zero, one, two, three, four, five. And then let's go in the negative direction, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. All right, so let's take a look at if we had the point, um, let's just say one and a half. So if this is one and a half, what is the absolute value of one and a half? Well, it's saying, what is the distance to get back to zero? Well, it's one and a half. Uh, you could represent it as um, an improper fraction if you wanted to, or as a decimal number. Um, that's fine. You could say 1.5 or 3 halves, but it all represents um, that positive distance. Um, let's say that we're looking over here at, say, negative 3 and 1 fourth. We're out at negative 3, and then we go fourth of the way. And so we want to say, okay, what is the distance back to 0? Well, the absolute value of negative 3 and 1 fourth is... Well, the distance again to zero is three and one fourth. Again, we could represent that as 3.25, three and 25 hundredths, or we could represent it as uh, 13 fourths, which is just the improper fraction form of it. Um, so there's an introduction to absolute values and the number line.